in the timeline, we have, as you see, several different uh, uh, tracks. We have one, two, three video tracks, and we have four audio tracks. And it is a very good idea to put different stuff in different tracks. For example, the video, the video that I have here is a dialogue. So it's a very good idea to put one of the persons, one of the characters on one track. And then I put the other character uh, on the other track. So here I have on the bottom track, I have this female character. And on, on the track above, video 2, I have the male character. And when they are having their dialogue, I can cut between those, uh, those two characters. And one easy way to cut here is to use the, uh, the cut tool to cut up like this. So already now we have a very basic dialogue that first we see the male character, then we cut to the female, the male, the female, the male, the female. A very conventional uh, dialogue cut. Cutting between the two characters. Very easily done by placing each, each character on different tracks and then cutting away from the top one. The audio tracks are uh, down here and uh, I can put, of course, audio files down in the audio like that. And the audio clips or audio files is edited in the same way as the video clips. If you want to use more video tracks, you can right click over here to the far left and uh, click add tracks. And add one or more video tracks, one or more audio tracks. This kind of editing that we have here is also called A-B editing, because you edit between two, two different uh, tracks, the A track and the B track, even if it's not called that here. And you can, of course, have many layers of, of, uh, of tracks like that. Another way to edit, which uh, is very useful and uh, I often use, is that you kind of pre-edit in the source window. Up in the middle here, we have the window that is called source. And if I drag the video clip, not down on the timeline, but into the source window, then I kind of see a, a preview of the video clip. And I can play it here. Perfect. And scene, then here. Scene 82, shot two, take one. Scott? Now, when I clicked here on the set in point, then it was created an in point. And then let it rule. Yes. I have reviewed the trajectories for the Mars orbit insertion. Yes. And then I pause, and uh, let's say that I want an out point here, okay. So, what we have now is a short piece of this clip. The whole clip is about 8 minutes long, or uh, one and a half minutes long. But now, now I have marked a small piece of it here with in point and out point. And I can easily change these, slide them around like this. And when I'm done, I can grab the clip and I'm oh sorry, I can grab the clip and let it go on the timeline. And as you see now, uh, if I and as you see now, if I 
this is the pre-edited clip and this is the clip that I dragged directly from the bin. When I pre-edit it, pre-trim it, I have already taken away all the stuff that I don't want to use in the, in the clip. The other alternative would be to, as I showed before, edit on the timeline. And it works fine anyway, both ways. But often I find it more quicker to edit in the source window and then drag the shot down on the timeline. And of course you can combine these methods. You can have a kind of basic part of the uh, of the movie here, uh, the main part of the action for example, and then extra shots like cutaways or whatever you can edit here on the timeline. Do you have another suggestion? And then drag them down on the timeline. Uh, sorry, edit them in the source window and then, dra then drag them down on the timeline. Uh, one final thing about the timeline right now is that here you can see the time code and the time code is the time position in the movie. Like here for example you have uh, 0 hours, 0 minutes, 24 seconds and 21 frames. And if I scrub in the timeline you see that it changes. But I can also click here and type a value. If I know that I want to go to exactly 1 minute and 45 seconds, for example, I can type that in, press enter, and then the time marker moves to that time. 1 minute, 45 seconds. And when I then uh, move material down on the timeline, as you see, when I get close to the time marker, the start point of this clip snaps to the time marker. So when I release now, I know that the start of this shot starts at exactly 1 minute and 45 seconds.